Hey there, sleepers. I'm gonna turn back, and um, you'll notice we're not in Iris. Well, now we can talk to people again. And we have uh, the ability to both jump and run and jump. I think there's a few small things we can take care of on the side. So it took us back to the main town. Of, uh, you know, I forgot the name. In any case, we'll talk to some things we missed the first time. I want to mention the weird flower in the uh, church garden. Something about it is different. Even though I've personally had my fill of flowers, let's look for this one. Again, one of these is different, but they're all moving. So just hurt your eyes for a second, try to figure out where it is. If you guessed it, it is right here. You're correct. Your prize is another golden apple. Huzzah. Okay, next we're going to run off to the plaza. Oh, let's stop in the church real quick. Again with the heaven music. But, um, I like it. Another mention of Iris. All the ones angry about the lack of faith. Which is actually kind of true, I guess. <laughs> well, yes, I have, Alice. Oh, she tells a turnaround of liking heroes at the beginning of the story and suddenly being like, wow, wait a minute, maybe violence is wrong. No. Oh, well, let's run to the plaza, see if we can't find Pico. Or hey, let's see if we can go talk to Bull. See what he's up to. He's still running away from us and hiding in the mermaid shack. Bah, okay. Nope, oh, back to normal. I guess that's all he has to say. Okay, well, I'm glad to be back to normal, too. I could have sworn, though, excuse me, I could have sworn there's some sort of, um, uh, gold apple around here. I don't know if it's, like, hidden or something, or... I don't know, uh... Oh, hang on. Yeah, let's try jumping on this. It's weird. I don't remember this. Still, I do remember a golden apple, so maybe I just forgot doing this. Uh, boy, this is an interesting puzzle. I bet it's just as much fun to watch as it is to do it myself. And... Oh, no. <laughs> We hit the training ground after this, after the, this episode, I should say. Finish up the, getting the medallions, get ourselves a holy sword. And after that, we'll head back to Iris. Check out what's going on with the snow. And all the things, it's, it's hard to remember to come back this far, because, uh, you know how it is. You see something in the beginning of the game. Oh, here we go. What? One apple? Okay, now I'm a little pissed. If I did see that last time I played, I probably blocked it out because it was so stupid. All that work for... <sighs> okay. Well, here's some other stuff in the area. Let's put a Leviathan on real quick. This whole thing of rocks has nothing but little moles in it and a few spots you can stand on. It really has no purpose, because, again, if you st you're still standing on them when the mole pops up, you get hurt. Uh, you know what? After that crap of the apple, I'm not jumping on all of these. Let's just get out of here. Oh, and this is a slide. Not quite good. But nice little touches whenever you land. It leaves a little imprint. Oh, never did talk to this one, did we? Let's see. Okay. The raccoon's tricking people. Well, it's still a mermaid. I mean, you don't have 800 bucks, but you can probably just go in and talk to her. Okay, back to the town. There's not terribly much to do around here. Uh, let's see. Uh, empty house. 
Probably the ones with the, pe with the people eloped. And... Oh, hey, it's Mom. Hey, she bought me a house. That was nice. Ten bucks? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, well, I am saving the world. You bought me a house. That's nice. Strange to lift the for sale sign up. Hmm. Okay. Probably worrying about nothing. Let's see. Uh, yes, I know what the medals are. I'm full of patience. Oh, catch this. Yeah, he mentions he want, if you find the silver medal first to come talk to him, because he wants to see it. Now, I'll, I'll probably cover this a bit later, but he'll actually ask you to give him the silver medal. And you can. And you can't earn another one. Oh, hey. Mom's back home. That's nice. How'd you get over to town so fast? I didn't buy a house. Yes, the Heather mother was a imposter, but she was cleverly telling you to bring your dog with you. Johnny in this version, Mac in the other version. Because the dog recognizes your mother's scent, and if something's going on with this other mother, other than the black button eyes, of course, the dog will be able to tell. Let's see, yeah, I already got that. Let's see, I don't think there's anything else over here. So, uh, yeah, let's just deal with this right now. <laughs> Someone suspicious. Me? I never doubt my own mother. Might stick my dog on her, though. Aha! Uh -huh. The raccoon dog from the Orient who could change form to full people. Well, we can forgive him though. And now he joins the group. He's another arguably useless one. He, I guess he has a sort of function. He basically turns into a decoy of you. And again, it will enemies will fly towards it instead of you. But it's just very selective use. I'd rather just keep the uh, Leviathan and the Cheetah up. Speaking of which, you want to have the Cheetah up for this next part? No, not for talking to the soldier in the bathroom, who's complaining about itchy. Tasty. No, for this part. Ah, the king has a Cheetah rug. What a... <clears throat> A ray of magic moonbeams hit the teardrop and brought him back to life for a moment. And Mr. Fusspot doesn't care much for the babe. He don't care for much for her either. Anyway, she just had to go to the water and another golden heart. All sorts of good stuff in this place. Okay, well, we really can't talk to the king yet. There's nothing over there, so, uh... We're getting pretty close to the end for what we got in this town. About time to go head over to the training ground and get that going. We're lucky we can wrap it up in one episode. We can wrap it up in one episode, I'm just saying. Anyway, I will pick this up next time.